Good morning, it's Diana from Rising Phoenix Resiliency, celebrating Small Business Saturday uh, here in the Daytona Beach area. This morning, we come to you from Daytona Beach Shores, which is just south of Daytona Beach. Uh, we're just off of Moore Street, beside the Winn-Dixie, um, in between A1A and Boynton. So, because of signage, uh, restrictions in the shores some small businesses um, have a little bit of a challenge in bringing attention to themselves so again we're here at Connie's bookshelf and uh, there are several small businesses here in this um, strip mall but um, we wanted to share with you all of the great things you can find at Connie's I've been a customer here for several years and many times she has those hard to find books uh, that I'm looking for. I'm a series reader so when I start I need to read them in order um, and she has had many of the books that I need. This morning she does have um, a small business Saturday celebration sale going on. We'll talk more about that this morning or in a few minutes. We're going to go in and talk with Connie in a few minutes. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, let's talk about how long you've been here. I started my eighth year in October, so a good seven years. And before that, I was out at the flea market for about two years. So, I've been doing this almost ten years. Almost ten years. And it came out of your love of books? It came out of my love for books. I've always been a reader since I was a child. and. It gets you through the tough times when people don't know what's going on in their life and they just pick up a book and they can be transported anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I like that aspect of it. I do too. I avid reader. I, I have two books going at all times. Depending on my mood, I really do enjoy it. So, um, Let's see, you're normally open. What are your normal business hours? I'm here Mondays 9 to 1, Tuesday through Saturday 9 to 5. Okay. And I'm always available after hours. If they just call, if you just call me, I would be happy to make arrangements so that if you need a book, I'm here. <laughs> and also, we wanted to be sure to highlight that um, your website you have a good part of your inventory on uh, available so people can actually go to your website 24 7 that is correct and it's Connie's bookshelf.com yes um, there's also a Facebook page there is a Facebook page there's also a Facebook group however there's no been no activity I just can't get people to interact at this point but I'll, I'm going to strive at the first of the year getting something really up and going um, but lately I've been diamond painting a lot and that's taken away from my reading of books. Well, and let's talk about that a second. So we have, I, I see uh, uh, bookmarks. Yes. As well as paintings. Yes. Um, so you have those for purchase and you find that very relaxing. I know we talked about that before. Yes. Um, that it's one of those great relaxing things. And, um, and, and these are all over the store, so if they're pretty you, you can hang them up but you also have the kits yes i have kits so that they can make their own bookmark they're 7.95 each um and if they need any instruction i would be more than happy to show them how to do it um i feel that if it this is like a two-hour project a bookmark mm -hmm. so you can get a feel whether you would really want to and it's using rhinestones more so than the um plastic now with di true diamond art, you use a little plastic square or a round and you stick it on there with a special tool. Now it's very easy, anybody can do it. It doesn't take a lot, unless you shake really bad. If you shake, it probably isn't your your craft. But if you have a steady hand and you, you want to concentrate, it's absolutely fabulous for releasing all the stress in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... I, I've been thinking about, I saw some of them um, when I was doing some shopping as well. I was thinking about trying it out. Okay, 
Well, let's see. We've talked about that we are online. Um, you have, we talked briefly about the sale going yes. on. So tell us about the sale. The sale is anything outside, you get um, three books for a dollar or 50 cents each. And I'm really open to anything because I just want to get rid of them and I don't want to put them in the trash. <laughs> so come over, pick as many as you want. Let's get them out of here. Anything in the store, including the 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 um, bookmarks is 10% off so okay. and that's today for small business Saturday and that's awesome uh, and I think before you it told me you have something like 40,000 books or something like, not, you can't put all of them out but if no. that's why I was saying as I was walking in if uh, somebody is like me a series reader and they're looking for a particular book to yes. call you because a lot of times you have it just last week um, Connie went and found a book that she had in storage for me because I needed that particular one. Yes. So she's always available to do that. Yeah, and, and um, too, sometimes people come in and they don't know what they want. I, so I try to match the person with the book. So say someone comes in and I'll ask them what they read last or what their passion is. Mm -hmm. um, and try to match the book up with the person because when you read a lot, you know what books might grab somebody. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so is that your superpower, or do you have another superpower? I have another one actually. My superpower is that someone can come in and say there's a character in a particular book, and they don't remember who the author is. And because I used to read a lot of mysteries, now I'm reading mostly historical fiction, but I used to read a lot of mysteries. I know who those characters are, so I know who the author is. <laughs> so awesome. people are totally amazed that I can just say, oh yeah, just a minute, let me think. Okay, I got it, and then we go on, so. Uh, that is an amazing superpower, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that's a superpower. Okay, so let's show a little bit more about the story.